and somehow I got to know Dr. Puglis. Uh, and after talking with him, we decided that we would hire him as our prison physician. And Peter T. worked with us from 1972, I believe, uh, until 1978. He was an innovator. He took an interest in the work at the prison. It wasn't just a job to him where he's going to collect, collect a check every two weeks. Uh, he was available to the staff and our problems almost whenever we wanted. We could call him at home. He would come down and take care of whatever it was. He was very controversial. And if you want to know, did, did I have any questions about it? Sometimes you should ask Dr. Peter T. He'll tell you. Uh, he, he really had to convince us that this is what we should do. And it was largely because of the number of inmates that were involved in this thing that we finally decided that we would go along with it and I would try it. I had, I had a little problem convincing the board at that time, the prison board, that we should do these things. But uh, we worked it out and worked well. Dr. Beglis would always explain to you exactly what you're going to go through, you know, and how it's going to feel. And that was, that was like a, a big help, you know, understanding. It wasn't like the withdrawal from heroin. This thing was much more devastating. It was much more um, debilitating uh, to your body. And you really, you needed to listen to him. He would tell you what to do and you would do it. And he, and he always had counsel. He would always be there on the telephone if I called. And a lot of the guys, like myself, would be concerned if we, if something was going to happen to us or we weren't feeling right. We would call him and he would tell us, you know, you, either you'll be all right or it's okay or do this or do that, take aspirin, stuff like that, you know, until he could see you. And he would always make it a, his point to see you. If we ended up in the hospital, the local hospital, he would be there. He, he, he was a good spark for us in getting these programs started. I mean, I, my staff, saw the problems we were having. There was very little we had to offer them to do anything about it. An occasional rehab program would come in twice a week or once a week, so only that was it, until he got up there and, and he helped us get all these programs off the ground. He tried to set up things where us, we as, uh, community people had had mentors, people who we could look up to. He would try to tap into whatever it was that was our hopes and dreams. We would be in groups and, and we would talk about why we were addicted and what, what chances we didn't have. You have to remember also the 60s was a, a horrible time of race relations in this community, you know, and there was, it was a black against white, you know, and everybody was a was afraid to be partnered up with white folk, you know, because they they didn't trust them. They didn't know what was going to happen, you know. And, and there was revolutionary guys in our community who thought that, you know, we shouldn't talk, we shouldn't be around them. And so when you went to places like a methadone clinic, you know, they you were considered somewhat of a snitch. You were considered... Um, uh, you know, non non pronte. You weren't you weren't part of the black community. They didn't want to have nothing to do with us. So you had this guy, Dr. Beglis, who really continued to be our friend, and was a friend to us. And he was white, <laughs> and you know it was strange for us to have that kind of relationship with this group of people. I'm talking about. It was strange for us to have this positive, positive, positive regard for this man. He could walk anywhere in this community, you know, and he wouldn't be hurt because he knew uh, people like myself, you know, and, and there was a lot of us. He used to walk into my office and he'd have, you know, he's got a certain walk <laughs> when he walks in and he'd sit down. Then he'd throw something at me. <laughs> I'd start tearing my hair. <laughs> I called him a liberal a number of times. But actually, he isn't. He's pretty conservative. But in, in this, this kind of stuff, he really goes all out.